morning. Good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Hope everyone is doing well out there in Facebook land. Today we're going to start off with the aliens, the star seed deck. Hey Cindy, how are you? See what the star seeds have for us today. I'm interested to see what kind of cards come out. I've been having a customer service nightmare of a morning. Um, so I'm trying to keep, keep some positive vibes going and not let the idea of how poor customer service has gotten throughout all of the land. So, what do we need? There's been a lot of prosperity stuff coming up this week. A lot of following your own path, finding your soul tribe, your soul team, conscious collaborations. So let's see what, what the cards have for us today. And as my shirt says, inspire, be inspired. As you inspire and are inspired, other people will become inspired and they'll inspire people and it's a beautiful circle of life. So do all you can to inspire the world around you and notice how it uplifts the world around you as well. All right, star seeds, what do you have for us today? Ha! <laughs> the seven... Star Sisters, Birth and Creation, Tapestry of Life, Expression, Birth and Creation. Again, that the creation bringing things into existence. We're still on this wave. We ah, oh, thanks, Cindy. We're still on this wave. Birth and Creation. What are we creating? And it doesn't have to be like you're writing a book. But what 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 are you bringing into life? What what are, how are you sharing yourself with the world that will inspire other people to start sharing themselves? with the world, obviously in a positive, uplifting way. Birthing creation, tapestry of life, expression, the seven star sisters, that divine feminine creative energy. It's here, it's been floating all around us. Let's see what the book has to say about the seven star sisters. And I'm feeling the seven star sisters are, are a good group of uh, sisters to have in our corner at this current moment in time. The Seven Star Sisters. There is a new creation that wants to be born, beauty that's yearning to be woven, new consciousness that's longing to breathe into life. If you draw this card, you're being called to surrender to these creations, to usher in a new era of consciousness, and to do your bit in weaving the web of life. This card, this is the card of the artist and the midwife, you're being called to ponder questions. What wants to be birthed through you? What new creations are whispering in your ear? What beauty are you being called to make? Oh, what beauty are you being called to make? Hmm, ask, ask, ask that question. Hey, Heather, love that. What beauty are we all being called to make? And again, it doesn't have to be some massive, amazing piece of art. Maybe it's just a little poem. Maybe it's literally just doing something kind for a friend that needs some help, and you happen to have a creative spark that will help them do whatever they need to do. But we are being called to create anew, even if it is just putting that energy into helping the world wake up and create a new reality, a new consciousness of actual love, not just pretend love where half the world pretends like they're good guys, but really they're not good guys at all. I've been on that kick a lot. What if the bad guys are the good guys and the good guys are the bad guys and we've all been fooled forever? Ooh, that's gonna hurt a lot of people. Yes, exactly, Cindy, exactly. All right, let's jump into the Rebels, see what the Rebels have for us today feeling a little bit like a rebel today. I don't know about you all. So let's see what the rebels have for us. In <laughs> Inspiration. 
inspiration. How interesting. How interesting. And look at that crown chakra exploding with all kinds of goodness. Inspiration. Think I'm in tune. Inspire. Be inspired. Inspiration. The inspiration is everywhere if you just take time to look. Like the beauty is all around us if we can actually stop complaining about things and notice the beauty that is all around us. And if you're struggling to find the beauty, go for a walk in the woods. Go for a walk down a little trail by a creek, by a stream, by a river, and just notice the beauty that is life. Notice the trees, notice the flowers, notice all the bugs. Inspiration, inspiration. How can you inspire the world? How can you inspire people to be more like themselves? Not to be like me, not to be like you, not to be like Bob, not to be like Krishna. How can you inspire the world to be like themselves? I've been picking on Jay Shetty a lot, not like Jay Shetty knows that I'm picking on him, but his new book is called Think Like a Monk. And I want to shake him. I want to shake him and say, really? You wrote a book entitled Think Like a Monk. So my book that I'm going to write is going to be called Think Like Your Damn Self. Think like your damn self. Be inspired. Let your inspiration come out. Think like a monk. Oh, come on, man. Cool. He was a monk. So pretty much with Jay Shetty. And I love Jay Shetty. I love him. If you don't know him, go follow me. He has these great piercing eyes. But he pretty much wrote a book that is really entitled Think Like Me. Oh, and again, the book isn't out yet. The book isn't out yet. I'm just making an assumption based on the title, Think Like a Monk. Jay was a monk. He's pretty much saying, think like me. So Joe Longo's book is going to be, Think Like Your Damn Self. Katie, I'm going to need your help editing that puppy. It's, it's coming. It is coming. All right, so we have the Seven Sisters, Birthing Creation, Tapestry of Life, Birthing Creation. Uh, our soul team is here. Inspiration, be inspired. Inspire the world around you. Think like yourself. You're an infinite creative being. You are a divine aspect of God, the creator. You don't have to think like a monk. You have to think like yourself. What's that little voice inside? What's the little voice inside saying? Listen to yourself. Sit down. Breathe. You don't have to be a monk. Be your damn self. The world needs you to be you. Not to be a monk, but to be you. All right. Keepers of the light, what do you got for us? What do you have for us? Ah, uh, the Shekinah, I never say this the right way. <laughs> sacred self, sacred self. Unleash your spirit, <laughs> express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Sacred self, sacred self, sacred self. I mean, come on, come on. Tell me these cards don't pick up on the madness <laughs> that comes out of my mouth. Be yourself. Be your sacred self. You are so perfect right now. Yeah, we all mess up. We all make mistakes. But you're perfect. Remember that. You are an aspect of the divine. You are the divine. Be you. The world needs you to be you. We don't need any more Joe Longos in the world. We don't need any more Jay Shetties in the world. We need more of you in the world. Be you. Be you. All right, and then let's do one last, one last um, energy, overall energy. See, see what, if we can keep this going. The Seven Sisters, Inspiration, Sacred Self, Be Your Damn Self. That's today's mantra, Be Your Damn Self. Inspire the world because you're being your own kind of weird. Embrace the weirdo that you are. Let it out. Let it out. All right, last card for the day is, ooh, Envy. That's interesting. <clears throat> envy. Maybe we're not being ourselves because we're being a little envious of the people around us and we're afraid. How does that feel? How does that sit with you? Let's see what the book says real quick. Envy, lack, dissatisfaction. Don't feel like you can't do this inspiring shit because there's lack in your world. You can be inspiring and creative with lack. Trust me, I've been poor as fuck. 
And I kept on going and kept on going and I didn't let that stop me from being creative. Don't let lack of what you think you don't have stop you. Don't think I can't do all of these things because I have to wait until I have all of these things. Just do it. Just start wherever you are. This card shows a woman holding a huge pearl in one hand and a platter of coins and pearls in the other. She stands in a silver room looking at a golden city and hold on the horizon. She has a life of value already, but she ignores that, that and longs for the shining prosperity she sees elsewhere. Instead of feeling happy and fulfilled, her desire for more only causes a deep sense of lack and dissatisfaction, and the energy shows in her dress. This card upright is telling you to let go of the jealousy and acknowledge the blessings you already have in your life. Now is the time to shift your focus. After all, when you envy others, it only attracts more to them, not you. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So let go of, oh, Susie and Bob have this, why don't I have that? The key is, you know, give Susie and Bob sweet, kind, loving energy. Celebrate their successes, and you'll have more successes to do all of this, to tap into your true self, to connect, birth that new thing, and inspire. So the next time you want to say, oh, what about them? What, why not me? Send them blessings. Send them encouragement, and all of the goodness will flow to you. So be inspired, my friends. Drop the excuses of why you can't birth into creation what you bring, what you want to bring into creation. Drop all of the excuses and know that you can do whatever the hell you want. You got to let go of the envy though. You got to let go of the woe is me. What about me? Me, me, me. Let all that shit go and just connect to the true divine creative being you are. That sacred self. Unleash your spirit. The world needs all of us to be ourselves. Have a great day, everybody. I love you all. Stay cool, drink lots of water, wash your hands, don't pick your nose. And I'll see you here tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Much love, my friends. Much, much love.